my fuel tank. It's out. Well, hey everybody, Cookster here. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're pulling the Model A gas tank out. Viola, it's out. Uh, in a future video, put the tank on the stand and do a once over and see if it's, if I think it's good enough to actually use as a tank. And if it is, then I'm going to try to save it. If not, we're cutting that puppy up and using it for the cow off the top. But I don't know that for a fact yet. So anyway, I'm yapping. Let's pull a Model A gas tank out. I know there's there's two bolts on each side up under here that you get to. There's bolts across the bottom of the dash rail that bolt the tank in. And then there's one bolt here for the steering wheel. I've already took the screws in the front out. So let me attempt to get some of these bolts out and uh, see how hard that's going to be. And, and when, uh, let's find out. There's the two clip things for the bolt nuts right there. there I don't see one in the front. Um, so I guess it's just those two right there. And maybe two over here yet. I don't know. There's, I see one. So there's at least two of those over there. And then of course, bolts across the bottom, which you can't see. There. They're under here, but going up, you know, facing up, and then one in the steering column mount thing. So those I'm not too worried about, although 90 years plus, although this thing could have been a part, like I said, back in the 70s, who knows. But anyway, let me, you may get in there and try to get these things out and see what'll happen. There we go. That did it. This is an impact driver. I'm sure most of you guys know what this is. You put bits on it, like I got a flathead bit here. Um, it moves, it's got a clicking mechanism. You, you put it on a screw and you hit it with a hammer. When you do, it drives it and clicks it and rotates it. So I already broke that one loose. I forgot to cut the camera back on. These things are, if you've ever worked on old cars, I would assume most of you guys have one of these. If not, for taking off rusty faster, get you one of these. loose I might have to pull this light out now and I still don't know how where this light thing came from but it's definitely in here I am very curious to know where this thing came from and why it's on here these cars were police cars back in the day but they didn't whoops Okay, so that come out of there. I don't know if this car was a police car and it had this light installed. I, I don't know. I've never seen a car this old with one of kind of lights in it, so I don't know. I wonder if this is worth something to somebody or what. It's definitely a light that goes through the cow, and I believe it kind of made for a Model A. This, this bezel here kind of shaped like a Model A cattle right there so I don't know anyway interesting find so there's a screw right here in the corner of this dash I just took out now that's loose okay this must be all right I see what it is now this metal this big metal brace behind it and I got one screw here that's broke so or broke loose so I am gonna have to get out to get that out of there all right, so I tried to get the camera around, forgot to press the button again. So there's a screw in here I got out. I got the screw, the same screw over there in that corner out. All the screws across the front are out, and I pulled the dash out, the little dash rail thing. I think y'all saw that. 
Then there's bolts under the bottom that go into this dash rail thing that hold the gas tank in. The first one I went got on over here broke. There's, a, there's cage nuts. You can't see it. There's cage nuts that hold them, hold them onto the back side. The first one I tried to take off broke. Broke the cage nut. And luckily, I was able to get a wrench down in there on the on the nut finally. It took me like 10 minutes to do it to keep fighting. I told you I'm stubborn. And I don't give up easy. So I finally got a nut or a wrench on the top of the cage nut, enough to hold it and got it off. So the rest of them, I'm going to heat them with a torch first before I spin them with the air ratchet. And hopefully they won't break off. Because they're a pain in the butt to get to if I had to do it anymore. I almost cut the dash. I was I was that far from cutting this dash open to get a wrench in there. And luckily I got on there. So let me grab the torch. And uh, I'm going to torch them before I try to spin them. And we'll see what happens. I realize y'all ain't going to be able to see down in here. But uh, if you were working on one of these, you'd know, you'd see them, you'd know where they are. I'm gonna heat them from the back side first. And I got a lot of heat on here on purpose to get them heated up. And I hope these cage nuts don't melt. That one came out. These cage nuts are thin. I'm gonna melt them if I ain't careful. I'm just trying to get a little bit of warmth on the bolt, best I can. If this don't work, I have to I have to try to heat it from the bottom. Heat the bolt head, which I could certainly do. That one broke loose. Try this. There's another one here. Let me try it. I think it's already broke. Anyhow, I got I got that one. One right there that I can't get to, or that, that broke loose on me. All right, let me just see if this will work or not. It might work. Nope, there's a cage nut. All right, that that's on there. Yes, I broke it. That's fine too. So, so far I got, looks like, what, three of them out. Let's continue on. We got one here under the steering column. And that's just a regular nut. I believe I can get on it though. That one actually come out, that's no trouble. It'll hold without twisting loose, and I can do it. Okay, now it's broke. There we go. I got it. It wasn't that tight. It was just once the cage nut broke, it just sat and spin. It's fun. 
I just noticed these cutouts in the bottom of this rail down here. You can, if you're careful, you can take a medium size or maybe even a small size pair of body strips and go up under here in these slots and just grab the corner of those nuts. So that works for the ones in the middle. Now when the, this one over here where it's solid, it doesn't help. I got one of them, like I said already, with the camera off. But I didn't really know I could do it and I just did it. So. I'm heating the bolt, the nut, and the, I'm gonna heat the bottom side of the bolt too before I try to spin it. I could lock onto it ahead of time, but I'm, if it keeps fighting me, I'll do that, but I'm trying it this way first. Now I'll heat the nut of the bolt here. Yeah. Small little turns by hand. Sometimes it's better doing it with a tool until it breaks loose again. It's just it's just gonna be a matter of fighting it. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna keep heating it and, play, and just messing with it. I'll get it out of there. So I wish I could heat it while I got the, the ratchet on other uh, vice grip on there, but I can't. It keeps coming off. Or I can't heat with the vice grip on there because it's in the way. So I just keep doing this. And I don't have good sense to quit when I get aggravated because I'm stubborn. And I can't stand to quit when something's beating me. But I'm going to get this son of a bitch. There's no doubt about that. It just takes persistence. Alright, I got it now. Okay. I was using the impact. Now, or the, yeah, the ratchet, air ratchet. And that's sometimes the wrong thing to do because it's too aggressive and it beats on it really hard. So don't be afraid to put the, put the ratchets down, the air ratchets, for the impacts or whatever down to get out of ratchet. I don't think it's turning. It's stripped down inside the uh. Alright, back again. Day two or three, whatever. I'm going to try to cut this bolt out right here. This kind of stuff, be sure and wear your safety gear. Goggles, gloves, face shield, whatever you prefer. This could be, or it is going to be a little, little dangerous here. And I'm about to sit my butt on four bolts. That would uh, that'd hurt. So let's remedy that situation. You ever set your butt on four studs sticking up? That's not a paint. That's not a. That's not a happy time. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh goodness! I mean the jokes this morning. It's too early for that crap. Ow! That didn't feel good either. Right, this is right at eye level. Like I said, protect yourself, people. Let's see what we can do here. Actually, easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, 
Alright, that one is so far. The nut hasn't broke loose. I think I heated this one yesterday. I don't remember. That might be helpful too. It's coming out. I got it. Alright. Okay. Good. <laughs> These last two are going to be a pain in the butt. This one I can get on a pair of blast strips, I believe. So you already watched me heat these and vice grip them to try to get them out. So I'm going to turn the camera off and get these last two out. The two bolts under here, you already saw me get. Let me, uh, here, I guess I can do them while I'm here. I bet that sucker's gonna be bad. I want to heat that with a torch before I even start. Because that one's up in the corner. I'll never get up in there if I had to. Alright, so you've already watched me take those bolts out with a torch. I cut this one out. I got three more over here to go. One up in this corner that I'm really worried about. And then uh, I just found a couple of screws on that side that I'm not even sure they may hold this upper rail on. I'm going to cut the camera off and deal with these last remaining bolts, screws, and when I try to pull the tank out, I'll come back and we'll see what happens. Alright, I got all the bolts out across this dash rail right here. There was two screws over there. I, one of them come out, one of them I had to basically just, just break out on the corner down there. And then over here, I imagine most of y'all watching me earlier knew there was a bolt down in this corner that I didn't know was there. So I get over here trying to take the tank out and it still won't come out. And I remembered I found a bolt down in that corner and sure enough it's right here too. And Murphy's Law says the last bolt you take out is always the worst one to try to take out. So sure enough this one broke loose. Uh, and there's no way to get down in here. So I finally just took a hammer and beat this dash rail over and folded it up out of the way. It's, it's been up. It's my, I mangled it pretty good. But it's the only way to get a pair of vice grips on this nut down here and get on to it. So let's see if we can get it out of here now. I cut two of I cut two of the bolts off from the bottom with the grinder and that worked well. This one's back in the corner where you can't get a grinder up in there. So yeah. Alright. I gotta heat this with a torch. know this there was a fitting right there in the firewall for fuel to come out or come through or something you got anyway you experts know tried to get it out and it broke it's it's brass or copper or something and it broke so oh well um we'll have to try to figure out a way to get it out if that tank is good but that's down the line so let's try to pull this gas tank out there's my dash rail thing do that. I didn't mangle the end of it too bad. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> if y'all know that movie. Um, oh yeah. And then this, I just had to break this tab loose because that screw wouldn't come out. I tried. So, uh, definitely fixable. This bottom seat, bottom seam. Bottom lip has to be completely replaced and work out the nuts so they're cage nuts but anyway so 
So that's out of the way. Uh oh, uh oh, it's moving up. Yeah, something, something feels caught under there. All right, there's, there's the start of it. Uh, choke rod, I just, okay, pop this loose. Just the gauge buster I get. Oh, there we go. I guess I should have pulled that gauge cluster out before I pull the tank, but hey, live and learn. Whew. So, Modelay fuel tank, it's out. Alright, just for the record here, there's the tank out. Obviously, firewall. Can't really see anything, but I mean the tank's out. So I guess the next thing I'm gonna try to do is get the firewall out. These feet right here, and the brackets and the braces, all this stuff is connected. There's a body bolt right, right up under there. Besides, there's also you know body bolt what right here, and it's like there might be one or two right here. Um, which I do have to get all that stuff loose obviously at some point so I might go ahead and skip on the car and fight some of these bolts just to get them loose where are we to get some of, yeah fight to get some of these bolts loose all right so that's it model a tank is out um, we'll do a inspection of the, of the tank later I just I'm not I might set up to do it right now I got you know car in the way tanks outside out of my way so we'll do that later. So a pretty short video, not, not much to that. If anybody, you guys have done these before, it's not that hard. Just a matter of learning where all the fasteners at, dealing with the rust and the and the crust and some of them not wanting to come out and you know, the typical old car stuff. So it really wasn't that bad. Even though I did curse some spots pretty good. Not near as bad as this damn molding down here. By the way, if you haven't watched the video on pulling this molding off, it's kind of funny, kind of amusing. I, I, I lost my, I lost my temper, but I, but I tried to keep it on the down low in the video, but I was, I was aggravated. So I think next video I'm going to try to pull the firewall. I got to find the spot wells on each side of the cow panel here. Grind those out. I know there's some wells and rivets down here at the bottom I got to figure out. The inside where the feet brackets and the sub rail. So I've watched a lot of videos. I've watched uh, Iron Trap, you know, Matt from Iron Trap. I watched... Uh, uh, Phillips Garage, uh, there's several others that are building Model A's and I've watched a lot of these videos. I, I don't remember all of them, I'm not trying to leave anybody out, I just don't remember all of them. Um, trying to figure out how to do this, the, 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 not, the, not the easiest way, but the best way. I'm trying not to hack stuff up as I've been saying, I'm trying to save this stuff either for me in the future or somebody else wants to use it, like the firewall. I'm pretty sure, air quotes, I'm going to be making a new firewall. I'm not going to use this original. Either I'm going to make a 32 style where the bottom kind of kicks out, gives you a little more foot room, or a flat firewall. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using this one. So I don't want to hack it up if I try to sell it to somebody. I want it to be in pretty good shape. The cowl panels, um, I can see rust now where I couldn't see rust before. There's, there's rust through all the way up the bead here where the uh, that molding was sitting and of course I already knew I got a big a big rust uh, uh, mess down here they passed it with the good old screen wire method this was probably back done back in the 70s screen wire and bondo that was a thing back then and maybe fiberglass too I don't know yet but anyway so I know you can buy these panels as reproductions but I'm I'm trying to learn and get better at metal shaping I, you know, I've been a body man for 40 years and I can work metal, I can, I can you know, fix metal and, and shape metal, but I'm not really a metal shaper. Making panels is still something I'm very new to. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't have an English wheel and a plant and hammer and a, whatever else I've got now that I have now. That I, I, if I'd have had it when I was 25, I could have done that stuff too, but didn't have it back then. So, uh, point being, I want, I'm probably going to try to make these cowl panels new from scratch. I believe I can do it. 
Um, I, again, I've been watching a lot of metal shaping. I've got tools now to do it. I've got an English wheel. I've got a cheap planishing hammer that I'm probably going to build a better version of and maybe even buy one of those nice motors for the, for the handheld type hammers. I've got a, I, I bought a nice bead roller that you guys haven't even seen yet. I've, just, I've had it put away for a year now. Uh, so I've got a nice bead roller. Um, there's something else I can't remember. But anyway, I've got, I've got the tools now. I think I can make this panel pretty much. Oh, shrinker stretchers, I've got those. I even just bought a new Eastwood Deep shrinker stretcher. I don't normally buy a lot of Eastwood tools, but this one was on sale. It's normally like five, six hundred bucks for that deep shrinker. This one was on sale for, I think, about three hundred dollars. Pretty good, really good price. Enough that I bought it. So if I bought it, it's a pretty, pretty good price. Uh, the big expensive ones are way over a thousand dollars with the Echo, 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 Eckler. There's one particular set of jaws. It's those round, oblong, oval-shaped jaws you see in all the old school, really nice shrinker stretchers. Those are like a thousand bucks just for the jaws. And the machines are not, you know, they're, they're two thousand dollars for machine. Those those shrinker stretchers and up, so I can't afford that. Uh, so the Eastwood's going to have to do me. It's a deep shrinker, just got those standard little jaws. So we'll see. It was on sale. I bought it. I need it. I know that's all I got to make. That I need a deep shrinker stretcher for. So I bought it. I got to have it. So anyway, um, as I said, I think I'm going to try to be able to make this panel. It's not we're not there yet. I got a lot of other work to do first before I try to make panels. If the, ta if the gas tank winds up being good and I try to save it, then I'm going to have to make a new cowl top. Um, so yeah, we got there's metal shaping definitely in the future for this car. I'm going to make a roof insert, which I'm probably I'll, I'll probably have my head examined for trying to do that. But hey, why not? But anyhow, I'm rambling again. So that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, learned something, maybe you didn't learn it. I'm definitely learning. This is my first Model A build, as I've said. Be sure to do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, share it, tell your buddies, tell your street bod gang uh, buddies, all that good stuff. And I will catch you on the flip side. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeehaw!